Today I'm going to show you how to clean and re-season your cast iron pan. Hey, welcome back to The Average Kitchen. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell. Today we're going to do a cast iron seasoning cleaning type video. I think it's going to be really cool. So yesterday I actually had used my cast iron pan and uh, pan fried some ham and I purposely left it the way you see it is right now. Now you can see there's some grime and some grease here and there and I'm gonna show you how you're gonna be able to restore and bring that back to its glory. A lot of people are lucky enough to have been handed down cast iron pans from their grandparents or a family member. They never die if you take care of them. So what we're gonna do to start out here is I'm just gonna take a scraper and I'm gonna scrape some of this kind of heavier stuff to get rid of that. And then what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna get that pan warm and then we're going to uh, pour in some coarse salt, warm up the salt and use a towel to use the salt almost like a scouring pad and clean all of that inside out. And then we're going to put some olive oil in it and bake it. So you can see here, this scraper is kind of doing a good job just getting some of this grime out. And I think what I'll do is um, just throw it on a paper towel here so you can see. So I'm pretty good to take care of my pan, so it shouldn't be too bad. Some people, you may have rust and stuff like that in the bottom of it. Ideally, you don't want to expose your pan to water if you can, and you also don't want to lose that seasoning that you're going to have built up over years of uh, cooking great meals in that pan. I think that's pretty good. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna go over to the stove, we're gonna get this warm and then put in some salt. So I've got my pan on sort of medium to high heat. Now I do have a gas stove here. So if you're cooking with electric, uh, it may take a little bit longer to get it warm. But basically I just wanna make, uh, get it to the point where I can start to feel the heat coming off the pan. So I'm gonna give it another uh, couple seconds. I've got some coarse salt here and uh, an older towel. You definitely don't wanna use uh, something out of your bathroom uh, because you might get yourself in trouble with uh, your significant other. So um, it's getting pretty good. So I'm gonna pour in some coarse salt. I don't really wanna give a measurement on this because it all depends on how big the pan is. This is a 12 inch pan. So I would, if I'm guessing, I would say half a cup maybe three quarters of a cup. So I just wanna make sure that that covers the bottom. I'm gonna wait for that salt to heat up and then I'm gonna basically clean out that pan. So Jamie just brought up a really good point. Do you do this after every single time you use it? No, absolutely not. Normally what I would do is just scrape it out and leave it. But I would say this is like a once a year, once every two years, depending on how much you use your pan to kind of reset it and bring it back to its glory. Cool. So I can start to hear the salt uh, getting hot and I'm just gonna give it a shake and you'll see in some places the salt's actually sticking to the pan, which is actually a good thing. That means it's starting to, to kind of bind to our pan. So I'm gonna actually turn the heat off here and now we're gonna uh, use our towel and we're gonna just start um, giving it a, sc a scour. So you'll see pretty quickly as we get into this that your, your salt's gonna start to change color and it should be soaking up all of that uh, grime that we had in there. So we're gonna wanna make sure we get the sides as well here. And obviously if uh, you leave your pan on too long on the heat, it'll be so hot that you won't be able to grab it with your bare hands. Uh, if that's the case, then just obviously grab an oven mitt. So I'm just gonna lift that up, I burnt myself there. Lift that up and show you that salt sort of absorbs some color. And obviously we're gonna wanna get rid of that. So I'm gonna try to basically dump it out into a bowl and get rid of it all. So the pan's looking pretty good. So now we're gonna give it a re-season here now. So I've got my oven preheated at 225. I've got some olive oil here. Any kind of oil really will work, vegetable oil, anything like that, but I'm just gonna use some olive oil. I'm gonna put in probably a tablespoon and a half, and I'm just gonna use a brush and I'm gonna kind of get the sides here. And what we're gonna do is gonna put this in the oven and we're actually gonna bake it for two hours. And that will re-season it and you'll be good to go for another while. All right, so let's throw this in the oven and let it bake for a couple hours. All right, so it's been two hours. 
Let's pull our pan out and have a look at it. All right, so there's a little bit of residual olive oil there. That's no problem. We'll give that a little bit of a wipe, but I think overall it looks pretty awesome. All right, so that is your cast iron pan cleaning and maintenance. Maybe we have a little bit of a different way using the salt. Try it, let me know what you think. Did it work well for you? Did it bring this beauty back to its glory? I hope it did. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you on the next one.